In this video, we're going to show you how to download your In this video, we're going to show you how to download your Playster site so that you can have the data before the date changes on October 1st. So first thing I did is went to mykw.kb.com. I clicked on technology and went to KW websites. That should take you to a screen that looks like this. When I go to my website, this is going to take me to Playster. Now, for me to back up this site that I have already done, I'm going to come to the little grid in the upper right-hand corner, and I'm going to choose Sites. This is going to take me to the original tool, and there's a simple download button right here. Once I hit Download, it is going to export all the HTML code from my current site. This will be great for copy and pasting later. I know I've got some HTML widgets inside my website, and I'll have access to the code I need for all that. So now I come to downloads, here is that file, I've already exported it, and now they're all here. I know it'll look like text, but if I come here to this text file and scroll down, so let's say like our values, right? I've embedded video in here, see content, here's the stuff there, I've got video in there with a link to the YouTube videos, and this is a code I'll be able to copy and paste right into the new consumer sites and agent sites once we have that tool up and running. So that's what's great about it. It copied it here. If you also want it back up, I would recommend you go to your site and maybe copy and paste some of that content and images into a Word file as well. And that's it. That's how you download the content from your Playster site to use for later. And as of October 1st, if you're not a paid member of Playster, your website will go away, so make sure you do that as soon as possible. I've got mine all done, and that is it. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect today.